Even with good modeling practices, we can sometimes overlook geometry errors. So it's always a good idea to make one last check before exporting a model to a game engine, especially if you're working with a team and sharing assets. In a previous video, we used the Mesh Cleanup tool to identify n-gons, and this tool can also help identify other common modeling errors. If we return to the Cleanup Options by going to the main menu and choosing Mesh Cleanup Options, you'll notice a section at the bottom of the window where we can remove unwanted geometry. There are some technical terms here like lamina faces and non-manifold geometry, but all of these options are essentially used to identify geometry that might have been produced by failing to properly complete an extrusion operation or by accidentally snapping vertices or UVs together to create edges or faces without dimension. I've intentionally created some of these problems on the body of my arcade cabinet, so I'll switch to an isolated view by selecting the model and pressing Control-1. Next, I'll activate all the checkboxes in the Remove Geometry section of the Cleanup Options window. At the top of the window, we can choose to automatically clean up matching polygons or just select matching polygons. Let's choose the Select option for now and click Apply. You can see that a few vertices and edges appear to have been selected by the Cleanup tool. But if I right-click to enter vertex mode and move the individual vertices, you'll notice that they had been snapped to the same location as other points on the model creating edges and faces without length or area. I'll hit Z to undo, then choose the Cleanup Matching Polygons option and hit Apply again. Back in component mode, I can confirm that the duplicate vertices are gone and these geometry errors have been corrected. I'll hit Control-1 again to reveal the entire model, then I'll isolate one of the side panels which has some additional modeling problems. Again, by selecting the geometry and toggling the View Selected setting, by hitting Control-1. Unwanted border edges are another common modeling problem. Border edges are just edges that should be shared by two faces but are instead disconnected. The surface normals on these border edges can't be smoothed using the Mesh Display Soften Edge tool we talked about earlier, so border edges can create the appearance of unwanted faceting across curved sections of a model. But it could be a challenge to identify a border edge by just inspecting a model in shaded mode, so I prefer to go to the main menu and choose Display, Polygons, Custom Polygon Display, Options. Then I click on the checkbox to highlight border edges and increase the edge width to a larger number, for example 10. After hitting the Apply button, the border edges will be clearly visible in wireframe mode. This display setting can also help reveal spots where a polygon may have been accidentally deleted when optimizing the poly count. We'll correct these issues manually using the Merge tool and the Append to Polygon tool. If you see border edges between faces without any gaps, these edges can be welded together using the Merge tool. Just go to the main menu and choose Edit Mesh Merge. You could also use this tool when border edges are very close to one another, but not quite touching, by increasing the distance threshold value just enough to pull the separate edges together. Just make sure that you don't increase the distance threshold too much, or the Merge tool will merge non-border edges and collapse portions of your model. To replace the missing polygon, we'll use the Append to Polygon tool I mentioned in an earlier video. Just go to Mesh Tools in the main menu, choose Append to Polygon, and left-click on two opposite border edges to create a new face. Keep in mind that the Merge and Append to Polygon tools will often create undesirable UV coordinates for the affected areas of your model, so you may need to return to the UV editor and make some UV corrections after repairing these sorts of geometry issues. These cleanup tools are pretty simple to use and will help ensure that your model doesn't create any unexpected problems when you drop it into a game engine.